Yo, I just wanna say I'm so proud of you because if you're watching this video right now, that means either one, you plan on starting a Shopify store, or number two, you already have a Shopify store and you really wanna take it to the next level. Either way, I'm proud of you for actually putting an initiative to really, you know what I'm saying, be about it and not talk about it. So I really wanna tell you the five best strategies that I think can really, really help you grow your Shopify store to where you want. Now, this is gonna be no BS strategies, okay? These strategies are gonna take, you know, time, effort, you're gonna to have to develop your skills or invest money to pay somebody, but either way, these strategies can help you reach 5,000, 10,000, 100,000. It just depends on how much you wanna actually develop your skills or hire somebody to help reach whatever monetary goal you're trying to reach. Fair? Okay, so let's get into the first strategy. So the first marketing strategy that I wanna give you for your Shopify store is called SEO or search engine optimization, okay? And all that really means is how well your site shows up when someone searches for a keyword or phrase on Google. Now, when it comes to Google, right, it's either your first or your last. They definitely want some Ricky Bobby vibes. Always remember, if you ain't first, you're last. Because 90% of consumers do not go past the first page. So if your Shopify store doesn't show up on the first page, you're losing money. Now, the first place I recommend you start with your Shopify store is just making sure that Google even knows your website exists. And how to do that is by indexing your website. And you do that by going to the Google search console. I'll make sure that I'll link it in the description down below how you can set it up. It's very, very easy, but a lot of people don't even realize that they need to do this for their website. Um, and Shopify kind of walks you through it step by step. After that, you definitely want to learn SEO as much as possible, making sure that your product titles and all that stuff, you know, shows up correctly in rankings and stuff like that. It can get really, really deep. So I recommend either hiring a professional. If you really want to invest money, it's worth it or learning and developing your own SEO skill set so you can start optimizing your website yourself. Either way, you definitely want to learn SEO because it can generate hundreds of thousands of dollars for your Shopify store. So the second strategy that I want to give you for your Shopify store is social media. Now, I know it seems like everybody is using social media nowadays, but you will be surprised that less than 30% of businesses actually utilize social media to market their business. Crazy, right? And another stat is that 70% of consumers actually use social media to influence them for buying decisions. So if you're not utilizing social media for your Shopify store, you are losing money. Now, I recommend really developing a really good social media strategy. Now, this strategy is really gonna depend on whether you're selling a product or service, but either way, you wanna make sure that one, you're hitting the pain points of your audience and how your product solves that. That's simple. If you have any testimonials um, about your products, right? Just credibility things that help solidify trust with your target audience. Those all go a very, very long way utilizing those with your social media strategy. And then also just nurturing relationships, just being a part of your target audience community you definitely wanna make sure you have those content pieces as well. The third marketing strategy that I recommend for your Shopify store is email marketing. I know a lot of people think email marketing is dead, but they couldn't be more wrong, okay? Literally $1 spent on email marketing has an average return of $44. Literally, email marketing is one of the most profitable ways to market your brand or business. And one of the best platforms for your email marketing is ConvertKit. Now, you don't have to use ConvertKit. I personally like it, but it's very easy to use. You can set up your automations. You can set up landing pages. The email marketing platform for ConvertKit is dope. So click the link in the description down below if you wanna check it out, if you don't have any email marketing campaign. But either way, sign up for something. I don't care if you sign up for MailChimp, right? Clavio, Active Campaign, OmniSend, just pick something. Um, and an easy way to get people to sign up for your email list is to give some type of discount or freebie or get free shipping or buy one, get one free. 
just be creative, but you definitely want to get people on your email list ASAP. So the fourth marketing strategy that I want to give you is called content marketing. And all content marketing is, is the articles or blog posts or videos or photos that you post on your actual Shopify store. Now, why this is so important is because for one, it really, really helps with SEO. Okay. So the more information that you give Google, the more opportunity that you have for people to show up on your actual website, you can generate way more traffic, which means way more more sales and then it can also supplement with your social media strategy so some of the blog posts and articles that you write on your actual Shopify store you can turn those into posts for social media or Pinterest or maybe you can make a video out of it and embed it you know to your Shopify store then post it on YouTube see what I'm saying so your content on your website can really go hand in hand with the two previous strategies that I've mentioned before, but content marketing is for sure a long-term game, but it definitely helps build and drive more traffic to your website, which again, ultimately leads to more sales. So the fifth marketing strategy that I wanna give you is running paid ads, okay? And the most popular ad platform right now that everyone talks about, especially for Shopify, is Facebook ads. And I'm here to tell you that Facebook ads is not this magical printing money machine that you see on YouTube that everyone talks about. It feels like everyone is making 10K a month from their, you know, drop shipping, Shopify store, but that's rarely the case for most people. There's a lot of things that you have to have in place for your Facebook ads to work well. For one, your Shopify store has to have credibility, trust, your website has to be good. It has to load quickly. Like, trust me, there's a lot of stuff that goes into running a successful Facebook ad campaign. And if you don't do the other four first, you're gonna struggle running ads in the first place. But if your Shopify store is in a place to where you think you should be running ads, check out this video here to where I give you the best Facebook ad strategy that you should be running for your Shopify store.